Trevor the traction engine was enjoying his work in the vicarage orchard. Birds were singing and apples were ripening on the trees. It was a lovely day, said James, replied Trevor. Asked James, laughed Trevor. Just then, Boko the diesel engine hummed in. James didn't like being told what to do by a diesel, and he buzzed away. Called Boko and set off to see Duck at the next station. Bill and Ben, the tank engine twins, were busy arranging trucks, but they scampered off when they saw Boko. Laughed Boko. Chuckled Duck. Replied Boko. James bustled in. He snorted. Interrupted James. Retorted Duck. The next morning, James arrived at the station to collect his coaches. The passengers were excited and keen to get on board. The platform was crowded and the porter was in a hurry. He shouted. Then there was trouble. The beehive fell and broke open. The station cleared like magic. James heard a familiar buzzing. The bees were too cold to be cross, so they buzzed around the fireman, hoping he'd mend their hive, but he didn't understand nor did his driver. So the bees turned to James. His boiler was nice and warm. Hiss, James. One bee burnt his foot. The bee thought James had burned him on purpose. So it stunned James right back on the nose. Whistled James. He had had enough. So had his fireman and driver. They didn't notice till too late that they had left all their coaches behind. They tried everything to get rid of the bees. First they spun on the turntable, but to no avail. They tried washing them off, but the bees clung harder to James's warm boiler. Then they tried smoking them off by going through a long tunnel. But still, the bees wouldn't go away, said his driver. James's reply was drowned by the sound of buzzing. The vicar was waiting anxiously for James. When he arrived, the bees swarmed straight into their new home, said his driver. Later that evening, James was resting in the shed when the vicar came to see him. He said, Everyone laughed, even James. But instead, they decided to call James the bee's knees, which means they thought he was more useful than ever. 